I just realized, is the Minecraft world a cube with the center as the nether? Okay, now I have to build it to find out if that works. I'm making it a six-sided cube because, well, it somehow makes more sense than a six-sided sphere. And each side is gonna have a different biome on it. This bottom side is gonna be a plains biome with a village and some villagers. Oh, right. Grass looks like dirt on the bottom side, so that doesn't work upside down. Oh yeah, also, how am I gonna do the villagers and village houses upside down? Okay, maybe I'll start with the biome on top of the cube, which is the cherry grove biome, and then work my way down. That way I have time to think of some solutions. Piece of cake. I've made a little mountain thingy. I got a bunch of cherry grove saplings, these little petal thingamabobbers, and get shreddy to plant, baby. <laughs> Sweet. Now I just have to do the petals and wait for the other trees to grow. Oh, nuts. I ran out of petals. What if I- <gasps> I can bone meal it for more? Let's go. Oh, I already ran out of bone meal. Check out this technology I just discovered. Yeah, look at that. Bet you didn't know back in grade school, the kids used to call me one stone, which means Einstein. It's definitely not because I was missing uh, one of my- I've been spamming these bad boys for a hot minute now, and it's looking like some fine wine. And I know you're thinking, oh, it's finished, and oh, you're an idiot. Everyone knows cherry grove biomes have clean rivers with the world's most pristine water running through them. What do you think I am, a cheapskate? Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, nuts. After installing the river, there's a floating tree. Good thing Sun Tzu taught me that when you got a floater that won't go down, set it up on a pedestal under a crown, which loosely translates to when a cherry grove tree is floating. And you don't feel like tearing it down because that would take too long and you've already been gaming for far too long. Instead, you should just build a dirt bridge underneath it. Ta-da! Oh, brother. That ain't synonymous with gorgeous. I don't know what is. Okay, I'm very excited for this next spot. Oh. Hold on, I forgot the most important part. Wasting two hours of my life trying to get portals to leak up so I can grab pandas, but even though when I go through this portal, I end up here, but when the panda does, he ends up in some random one. Now that is incredulous. I have no idea what that word means. I'm actually removing part of the frame here because I want there to be a giant opening in the corner for a chunk of nether with a gas, fortress, and whatever else I can think of. Kind of hard to explain, but trust, it'll be one of the most epicnesses of my career. Now I need a ton of sand, and I need to eat this desert pyramid. Mm, yummy, yummy, my tummy. Okay, and since sand can't float, I'll just make this bottom layer sandstone. Hmm, actually, that doesn't really look very good. Wait. I think I might have figured something out. String is practically invisible, and sand can be placed atop it. So if I get enough string, I can just have the sand look like it's floating. Only problem is that was all my string. Come here, you little numbnut. All right, sweet. That should be enough. I got more than a stack of string. Guys, I just discovered something absolutely dope. If I change my right-click button to a key on the keyboard, then I can hold it down for infinite clicks per second. Woo, this is so... Oh. I ran out of sand. All right, I don't yet really know how I'm gonna connect this desert to the cherry grove up here because the way it is now, you can see a line of dirt, which is very much ugly. Although I guess that's okay, cause so am I. Oh well, this desert is looking a tinge bland if I do say so myself. You know, this kind of reminds me of when I was explaining to a four year old that it's okay to poop your pants, but he kept making fun of me anyway. Yeah, buddy, that temple looks so clean. I had to change out some of the blocks because they look different when sideways. Why is it still look kinda Oh, I think it looks off because it's just perfectly flat. Every good desert changes elevation a bit, you know, dunes and whatnot. Only problem is that means I need even more string. All right, that looks way better. Now I just need one more thing, cacti. Except of course they can't be placed sideways. Right. Wait a minute, I just had a big brain idea for a big boy like me. Smelt the cacti into green dye, dye some wool, craft some buttons, and place like so. Yeah! Looks like a sideways desert to me. Probably, probably because it is. Snow blocks, packed ice. Oh, Joe, what is this I'm looking at? Well, you big brain billiard ball battling boys, this is the beginning stages of an ice spikes biome. I figured I'd add a cold biome because I want as much color on this planet as possible. And can you name one other biome with blue in it? I didn't think so. I spent a lot of time mindlessly building the ice spikes, and while doing so, it gave me some time to think. You know, people always say to give 100%. Oh, you lost the race, at least you gave 100%. Oh, you should always give 100% no matter what. Well, I've been thinking that's not actually always true. For example, giving blood, because then you die. Uh, sleeping, cause then you die. Okay, what I meant was how I was able to think of some solutions to the upside down village plains biome that's gonna be on the bottom of this cube. Ice spikes done. Hmm, I don't like either of these. I wonder if- <gasps> Oh snap! You can use moss blocks for upside down grass! Okay, I need a ton of moss blocks first and, well, I've been at this for quite some time and I only have three stacks. I'm gonna need at least like, I don't know, 15 stacks or so. Oh, what if instead I place stone here and a dispenser, more stone, obsidian, piston, stairs, more obsidian, agua, lava, more piston, too much redstone, kill a bunch of dry bones, slap some bone meal, place some hoppers, chesties, 
and we did it! Moss block farm! That was totally easier than just insta mining it in a lush cave. Oh no, what? How did that happen? Oh, that was weird. Oh, bet! Alright, now I'm just gonna place water there, yes. And then I have to get down here and start placing these moss blocks, I guess. Okay, well, I just ran out of moss, but look at this! It's getting some serious progress down here, so yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, that was pretty simple. Now I just gotta grab a few logs and a few leaves, place them down like so, and would you look at that? Now I just gotta do this uh, three more times. Yeah. Very nice. All right, and there it is, boys. That is all the trees placed. I wonder what that looks like right side up. But don't worry, guys. Now comes the really interesting part. You see this house? Hmm, not anymore. Now it's all packed away in my shulker box. You know, it really doesn't make any sense that an entire house could fit in this shulker box. But I ain't mad at it. Oh, that brother got home. Okay, now I can simply screenshot the houses and then copy them upside down as I build them. This is gonna be pain. Okay, I think I did that one right. It looks about good. Boys, I just finished the first house in yes, sir. Clean and mean. That's how I like them. Village houses too. I think I'll build the other one over here somewhere. Hmm, just that looks very nice. I mean, well, the torches aren't exactly upside down and the doors as well, but uh, we don't have to worry about that. All right, this village still doesn't look quite right. Not just because it's upside down, like it's missing something. Let's just fly to the village I stole the houses from and see what else I'm missing. Oh, right, there's structures like this that aren't houses. Also, there's no mobs in my upside down one, so I'll have to fix that. All right, bet. There's the farm holder. Hey, I wonder if pumpkins look the same upside down as they do right side up. Oh, yeah, there's a stem on the bottom. Sweet. Okay, now I can have a pumpkin patch next to one of the houses just to add a little more variety to it. In order to get mobs up here, I think I just need to make some leads, break this portal, make a new portal, dye the sheep in my farm white so they look natural, pull them through the portal. Come on, get your butt to What? Why are they not going through the- Okay, there we go. Some went through. That was weird. All right, come on over this way. Stick them to that. Where's the pen at? Oh, it's right over there. All right, so this is how you do it. You grab a sheep, pull them over here to this little hole. Nope, go in the hole. Nope, go in the hole. Yeah, and then, and yes. Okay, there we go. You pull them off like that. Break that one. Boom, stick him up to that thingy. And look at that, see how he's he's bouncing down there? Now I just grab my moss and cover this up and stick him to that. And there we go, there are the sheep right there. Oh, but you see that? They're, they're a little upside down looking. Hmm, I wonder what I could possibly do with that. Maybe slap him with a dinner bone name tag. And boom, there we go. However, I can't leave with just a bunch of nerds in this pen. What self-respecting plains biome doesn't have horses and other creatures lurking around every corner? Ooh, I'm gonna grab this horse. I think also I can just fly straight up with him. Yeah! Oh, he's staying stuck to it. Sweet. Okay, now I just have to. Ooh. Well, uh, glad he didn't die from that fall. Alright, come through the portal. Name him Dinnerbone. Lead him. And goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's really bouncing. Alright, I think four blocks. And then there we go. Now he is stuck to that. Um, yeah, look at that. He's just chilling there. Oh, that's awesome. Grab Shrek's friend too, pig, and finally a villager. And since leading villagers is outlawed in this game, I'll just stick him on this tree so he's in contact with the ceiling at all times. That way it looks like he's walking around. Now this is how you make an upside down plains biome, baby. And while this biome was difficult to make, there's some even harder ones that I'm not looking forward to make. <laughs> I almost didn't even do this next biome because of how annoying and difficult it'll be to make, but I decided it's way too cool to pass up. Here we are. Now, I know you think you figured out what the biome is, but it's not the mushroom island because that's not even a biome. It's the mushroom fields, idiot. Now I just gotta grab some mushroom blocks, mycelium, more mushroom blocks. All right, now I'm just gonna start placing down some of the mycelium for the island. Uh, right, yep, it's the same thing as the grass. There's dirt on the sides. Okay. Huh, <laughs> psych. Well, don't know what to do about that, but um, uh, I'll do something else while I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, now I'm making a sideways ocean floor, which is surprisingly difficult to construct, not only logistically, but also alphabetically. I'm still not sure how the water is going to work because I can't make floating water as far as I know, but also I can't let the water just fall off the planet. Oh well, I'll blow up that bridge when I get to it. Hmm, how is it gonna connect up here seamlessly? Oh, I got it! I'll just make the edge of the cherry grove biome into a beach biome. That way the water from the beach is the same as the water from the ocean. Hee <laughs> that looks spicy. Alright, sweet. That's the ocean floor. Now I need to kill as many squids as humanly possible as I need a ton of black dye. Ow! Alright, well that should be enough. Now I just need some bones for white dye. Oh, wait a minute. I just had a way better idea. I can get bone meal way faster if I mine these fossils in the nether. <laughs> How did it not kill him with a power 5 bow? Oh well. 
All right, bet. That should be more than enough bone meal. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'll have way too much white dye. Whoops. Anyway, make some light gray dye, light gray concrete powder, convert to concrete, and boom, mycelium but sideways. The actual island is going to be about 25 to 35 blocks in radius, just like that. And boom, there's the island. Well, the outline of the island at least. Still got to do the middle part. Okay, this part is really tricky because water physics are mad confusing in this game, so I got to be extremely careful. Otherwise, I could ruin this in a matter of seconds. All right, I'm just going to start placing water around kind of randomly, and um, we'll see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but you know, who knows? All right, now I'm just gonna break all of this dirt and let the water all fall down, and uh, we'll see if it worked. Oh, yeah, I threw all the water behind this water. That's gonna be hard. Oh, snap, big brain idea incoming. Ice is basically a water bucket that can stack because when you break ice, it becomes water. This will make the process a bajillion times easier. Oh, interesting. Ice only turns to water when there's a block underneath it. Well, that complicates things a bit, but Minecraft wasn't code in a day. Boys, I learned that if ice melts, it turns into water even if there isn't a block underneath it. My brain is on fire right now. Okay, sweet. It's looking mighty fine now. Now I just gotta do some of this, a little bit of that, one of those, and kaboom. That isn't a mushroom island, then... Sure looks like one, yeah. All right, there's no way to make mushroom sideways, otherwise I would populate this island. Also, I have a possible solution for the sides being land, but I won't be able to implement them until we finish the other sides because, well, you'll, you'll just have to see. Oh, Joe, what's the last biome? <laughs> well, idiots, I was hoping you'd never ask. You guys have seen me make five biomes already, so let's just speed run this one so it's not boring. First, I need a ton of red sand. Now, I know you're probably thinking that it's Badlands biome, but no, you are so bad at guessing biomes. How are you guys this dumb? It's clearly an eroded Badlands biome. That should be enough sand. Now I just gotta spam it like my life depends on it, which this is my job, so technically I guess my life kind of does depend on it. Oh, nuts, I ran out. All right, now I want to go up a layer, so I'm gonna add string like I did in the desert so that it looks like there's floating sand. That way, you know, I can have elevation changes and whatnot. All right, how does that look? Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. I might have to make a few small changes, but you know, it's getting there, it's getting there. Okay, let's make some chunky things. Brown layer, white, weird indescribable color layer, regular terracotta layer, yellow, red. Nice! Let's do another one over here. Oh, whoops, ran out of that color. Gotta go get some mo. Ooh, what if I made the top course dirt kind of like how it is in the actual bottom right here? That might be kind of sick. Why does it not look quite right? Oh, maybe it's because in the real Badlands, there isn't exclusively red sand on the ground. So instead, I could put some of this terracotta around and yeah, there we go. Oh, <gasps> I just had an idea. These biomes are always filled with mine shafts. So all I need to do is grab a mine shaft, transport it, and plop it down like so in the Badlands. Now just add some cobwebs and she is a beaut. Okay, there's one super quick thing I gotta do before making the greatest part of this entire build. First, remove all the blackstone, then grab the most incredible amount of dark oak, smack it into trapdoors, place the trapdoors in place of the blackstone. Hey, this is kind of fun. Oh, um, so there's string here, but I'm trying to replace it with trap doors. Okay, if I right click and left click this at the same time to place and break- Yeah! Yes! Okay, I actually did not expect that to work at all. Woohoo! Yeah! It's finally finished! <laughs> no, it isn't. You guys forgot the most important part of this entire build. This giant crevice right in the middle. I'm about to turn this chunk into the nether. Right now, I'm adding the snow here, and then I'm gonna add sand and stone on the other side. That way, it, like, blends into the nether, so it's like, it, you know, it gets deeper inside, and then it's nether, because if it's just a one block thick in the nether, that won't look right. Normally, in Minecraft, you have to dig down really far, and then there's the nether, so that's what it's gonna be like in this. All right, now, after that snow, let's do a layer of dirt. All right, after that layer of dirt, let's do another layer of dirt. And after that other layer of dirt, let's do a layer of stone and after that other layer of stone let's do another layer of stone all right now let's do the sand section add some dirt now i can place the sand on top of the dirt so it don't fall and now we're deep enough to sand stone another layer of sandstone all right now i have to add string yet again because uh floating sand you know how it is and a little bit more of this sandstone on top all right yeah that's looking good i think it's time to add the nether regions closest block I have to bedrock is whatever this is, smooth basalt or something like that, so I'm gonna just slap this down, because, you know, it looks sort of like bedrock a little bit, kind of, maybe, a little bit, maybe, kind of. Man, this thing looks so cool. I cannot wait to finish it. All right, gotta go into the nether, and now just grab a whole buttload of netherrack. Some of this red stuff that's also in the nether, whatever this is. Ooh, whoa, look at that. 
Found some uh, ancient debris. I'll take that. Wow, even more ancient debris. This stuff's everywhere. Well, that should be enough. All right. Um, I'm just gonna start placing it down. I don't really know uh, if this is gonna look good or what, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Actually, no. I'm also gonna have the netherrack one layer below the bedrock looking layer. That way it's like, you know, it's like coming out of it. Like it was underneath, like, like hidden under. Huh? Okay, you know what? It's too complicated to explain. You guys will just have to wait and see. All right, I think over here I'm gonna have it plateau a little bit. That way I can like have a different biome right here. Like one of those blue or redder ones or what, something like that. Uh -huh. All right, now I'm working on the roof part. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. How's that looking so far? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. It needs a lot of decorating, but you know, it's getting there. Oh, heck yeah. This cube is so sick. Are you kidding me right now? All right, I'm gonna rework this bottom chunk down here and replace it with lava. So I gotta slap this around a little bit, change it up just a tinge so that, you know, it can be a little lava lake. And blip, blip, blip. Oh, and I'm out already. And you're all blip, 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 And ow, oh, ah, oh man, I'm about to die. And sleeping in the nether. Placing down some more lava. All right, there we go. A little tiny little mini baby lava lake. Now I gotta add some lava streams somewhere. All right, I'm just gonna slap that down right there and then it will flow down in like a little stream type thing. Okay, there we go. It's floating down. All right, next I need like a little nether fortress chunk. So I'm gonna go back to the nether. Suck it, gas. Yeah. All right, that's another fortress right there. All right, that should be enough. All right, and uh, yeah, let's, let's start building this nether fortress thing. Hopefully I get the dimensions right. I'm pretty sure I know it exactly. All right, that's sort of correct, I think, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I might put like a roof thing on it, one of those pieces. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, oh, ah, ugh. definitely needs more. All right, I'm adding the little post thing that goes underneath nether fortresses. There we go. How does that look? Ooh, that is disgusting. Yeah, that's way too close to the front. Hold on, I gotta move that back. And uh, there we go, much better. All right, now a little plateau area I'm gonna turn into this. What is this, Nylium? My something or other? Some Eum. Also, did you guys know that you can bone meal right next to this stuff to turn netherrack into it? Also, did you know that these fungi, you can just bone meal these bad boys to turn into those nether trees? Yeah, you don't even have to build them. Some people build them by hand. Nope, idiots. Those people are absolute morons, and I hate every single- Also, gonna add a little lava stream and just a secondary one over here, because, you know, the more lava, the better, am I right? <laughs> you know, let's add another one up here, too, because, uh, <laughs> like I said before, the more, the better. Grab some glowstone real quick. Maybe some uh, nether quartz. Place some of that down in there. Glowstone chunks are so easy to make because you literally just spam random glowstone around. It doesn't have to be precise at all or anything. Okay, guys, there's one last grand finale to top this thing off that I'm missing. You know, over in my volcano biome, see this floating gas here, how I captured some? I gotta do that, but in the nether. So, yeah. It's not even that difficult to do. Okay, well, actually, that was a really big lie. But what you do is you make a little platform like so. Yeah, right about there looks good, I think, for a guest. Then you add a minecart rail, and then you build a small glass cage. Uh, I had to turn off my texture pack because I could not see glass panes. Then you add a little contraption like this going right into it. Then you have to make a fat, juicy nether portal right next to it. Make a portal like so. Now I just have to build a cage around this portal so the gas can't escape out the back. And I already made this gas spawning area in the volcano video, so I can just use that again. And guys, I kid you not, I waited three hours here for the first gas to spawn. Bruh, a gas spawned, but it didn't even spawn in the platform, it spawned on the nether portal. I've been waiting so long for one to spawn and that's where it decides to spawn? I hate my life. Oh, bet, 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 let's go. One finally spawned, holy cow, that took forever. Look at all the zombie pigmen loot up here because I've just been killing them. Okay, now I gotta get this guy into the nether portal. Don't shoot me, please. Oh no, I forgot to put minecart rails inside of the platform. So now I have to place them in there with the gas in there. This is gonna be tricky. Um, oh! oh, okay, he just made the noise. He didn't actually shoot a fireball. I'll take it. Okay, do that. Oh no, that time he actually did shoot it. Okay, didn't break anything. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> and go, 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 go. Okay, gotta place these fast. Nope, no, 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 no. He just, oh, snap, okay. Oh, I think he's getting damage from the thorns. Holy moly, this is way harder than it should be. Minecart on there. Nope, he's gonna shoot me. The eagle has landed. I repeat, the eagle has landed. Now I gotta send him. Oh no, get in there. Yes, okay, sweet. I got him, 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 I got him. Holy cow, okay. Now he should just be in the glass container trapped. If I go through that portal. Okay, good, I don't see him at... No! There was a zombie pigman in the minecart, so he escaped. Brother die idiot i hate you forever all right i got another one finally after like four more hours get the mine card in there no what it hit him but he what is that no okay he took actually way too much damage so he's probably on the brink of dying but he's still alive come on yes 
Oh, let's go. Wow, that took way too long. And with that, I present the planet. Oh, that's right, boys. Make sure to subscribe if you watch this whole video, because there's going to be a lot more just like this one, and maybe even better than this one if that's possible. So, yeah, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Wait, you did subscribe, right? To my channel. 99% of you aren't even subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Just click the little red button. I love you so much.